So, oh my God, I got somebody waving. Shit. Love that hat, Bob. I know your hair is real high. How's it going? <laughs> hey, do you know Molly Bachman? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, so I'm doing a birthday movie for her oh, this weekend. Great. Happy birthday, Molly. Yeah, you know, we just wish you the best. We do a lot for Ferguson, and we appreciate it. Enjoy your birthday. You know, she's 35. 35? Yeah. Well, listen to this, Molly. You've already hit your peak, and now you're going to go on the backwards side of the peak, so just enjoy it on the ride down, because it's not going to get any better. Did you see her dancing? She oh, did. But if you're a good dancer, maybe you're still on the upwards way. Now, let me ask you one more thing, I don't know your name. Sure. All right. Do you have a message that you'd like to send around the world from Ferguson, Missouri? Something that could give mankind hope. Mankind hope? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. That's, that's a pretty deep question. Come on, Very man. philosophical on a, Come on, on a Friday night when people have been drinking and are intoxicated. Right, I don't think right. that's a fair question. Okay, but I, get, I do have a message for the rest of the world about right. Ferguson. I have lived in Ferguson for the last 17 years. We've raised four children in Ferguson and we continue to raise our children in Ferguson. And you know what? Our, our children are thriving. So. I've lived in North County my whole life. Oh yeah, um, North, North, North County's beautiful. I grew up in Moline Acres, yeah. and I went to high school here in Ferguson at Luther North. So yeah. I'm with you, and I'm staying, yeah. and I believe in the Hey, we, you know, there's a part of our community that runs, but there's a part of our community that stays, and I'd rather be with the part of the community that stays. You're the fucking yeah. strong one, oh, my friend. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank no, you. Thank you. I, I didn't mean to ask you. Uh, uh, that's too serious of a no, question. I, I apologize. It's all good. I'm just learning to be a journalist. Sure. And so I mess up. Hey, the I, uh, I know all about you know, public communication. So you got to ask uh, the triplet if it, like, the questions in the series, like a triplet. Like you gotta, you gotta ask like an initial question to break the ice. Then you ask a question to kind of in the middle. Then you ask a question that's over the top. I think that's all part of uh, your. Is it? Is it not? Well, see, I've been a hairdresser my whole life, and sure. so I ran a small business for 30 years. I don't follow rules very well, and I like to create my own circumstance. Sure. So it kind of sucks because. A lot of people think hairdressers are like ding dongs and goofballs. And a lot of people think journalists are too. So it kind of is hard. I've met some journalists because I do live in Ferguson. So I've been personally engaged with journalists. And I'd have to agree with you on that one. That I certainly believe that, and this is on camera, that some journalists are certainly ding dongs. Or ditzy, whatever the term is. Now there's there's a, there's a uh, you know, you know, every rule, you know, someone breaks every rule, but typically the people that we've encountered from CNN to Fox News to all the major corporations, they don't quantify themselves. I wouldn't quantify them as other than ditzy or ding dong that really don't have anything to, you know, positive to say. All they want to do is, you know, make money and sell advertisement. I gotta agree with you and see what's happened is that everybody knows mainstream media is puppeted. Oh, everybody knows alternative media can be full of shit and kind of like um, fear provoking. Oh, absolutely. Fear mongrels. Right. And so... That's how do you make money? By selling the fear. Exactly. And you need... Uh, listen to this. Right. So, uh, so everybody tells me that I need, uh, you know, I need some home security system. We leave our home unlocked 90% of the time. So if you want to try to rob us, go ahead. Our doors are unlocked. But I'm not going to be fearful and not be my door unlocked because I'm afraid somebody's going to come and, uh, you know, burglarize my home. So if, if I didn't, and I've lived in Ferguson for 17 years, and my home has never been burglarized. I think that we put an energy out, and if you put oh, yeah. a warrior energy out, then people will leave you be. Yeah, just respect people. You know? right. I respect people, so I expect people to respect me. Right. If they don't respect me, then we have a problem. Right. But my, it's my, not uh, that I disrespect people. My dad if someone was, uh, tries to disrespect me. My dad was a cop, so I sure. saw all sides of oh, it, yeah. and um, 
It's about the respect for anyone. Yeah, respect for yourself. That's right. God, you did good tonight, man. Bless your... I'd give you a five if I had a fucking arm, man. All right, have a good night. Take care.